me your little boy Ki Samson. I have this message to give us. You know, reason why it look like God keep keep haters around you. Why it look like God keep them you know around you. He refused to you know sometimes let them go. The reason why he keep allowing your enemy to do it to be around you so the reason why he keep allowing people who don't want you to grow who don't want you to excel the reason why it look like he keep allowing them to stay around you to hang around you one of the reason is because he wants to use you to teach them a lesson that other people will learn from when I mean he wants to use you to teach them a lesson, it simply means that he wants them to do or to witness your greatness. Yes, believe me, because the worst pain on earth is when you look down on people, you believe within you that they can't make it, no matter what they may put in, they can't make it. And right in your prison, not when you are alive, right in in your present they do it they are what they they suddenly start to make it even without your support or your help that really frustrates you know what i'm saying so another reason why god keep them around you is because he want to prove his glory within yes he want to prove that he made you and he can still deal with you he can still promote you he can still do things with you without their help you know what i'm saying so th that is why sometimes people who who left you they keep watching you they are close to you and even if they have long distance they will still have people who give them information about you because god allowed them to live in order for them to bear weakness in order for them to see the glory of god in your life that's why sometimes some people will say, ha, is it not the same person we left yesterday? Ah, is it not this guy we, we leave last year? How come he's able to do something like this? What happened? How did he make it? How did he do it? Are you sure this is a this is a blessing? Or he just he, maybe he just joined some synthetic kind of group? So your what your life is what God we used to teach them lesson. And another reason why God allow your enemy to do it, to be around you, haters, brothers, sisters, is that he wants to confirm his power. That is why when the brothers of Joseph realized everything they did, Joseph said to them, oh glory be to God that I do do what? What do people want for evil? God turned it for my good. You know what I'm saying? So what am I? They become a living testimony to what God is doing. So God allow your enemy to live within you, around you, in order for them to witness His power. That is what He did to Joseph. Um, um, Joseph, Herman, King Saul, it is he. You know what I'm saying? So God allowed them to live in order for them to become a weakness. So that when other people are saying, how did he make it? They'll be the one that say, ah, we know it, we know it. When he was there suffering, we left him. But we never believe that God can use him. God can suddenly transform his life in what? In a minute. You know what I'm saying? So another reason why God keep allowing them to stay to be around you because he want to let them know that nothing is impossible for him to do you know what i'm saying that's why sometimes some people said ah let's see how you will make it let's see how you will do it you will never be able to escape from that one from that storm you will never be able to make it out of that storm nothing good will come from that storm nothing good no matter how you do it you can't do it you can't do it without us but god will prove them wrong by allowing you to be whom he have called you to be, no matter what they may try to put, no matter the asunder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why some people will end up calling you evil. Not because you are evil, it's because God 
confuse them by allowing your glory to overshadow their expectation. So another reason why God allow your enemy, you know, to live long and witness his mighty hand is because he wants to let them know that he is the one that called you, choose you and elect you. You know, sometimes when God called you, there are some people who will try by all means to oppose the calling of God upon your life. Yes, believe me. There are some people who, that's why when God called Joseph, the brothers of Joseph, instead of them to support Joseph, they become an enemy to Joseph for greatness. They start to envy Joseph. And at the end, they realize they made the mistake. So some people must surely do what? Go against you. Some will leave you. Because sometimes, brothers, when God called you, he don't just call you to enter into a sugar, a mink and honey, just like that. He called you. He selected you. In the process, in that first process, you must surely encounter all sorts of things. People will reject you, abandon you for the sake of what? Of Christ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For his own was sake. So God allow your enemy to be around you for a while in order for them to be a testifier of what he started and how he will end it. What I mean is it, when God called you, some obstacle will come on the way and some people around you will look you as a failure and when the glory start to shine, there will be the same people that will end up saying, ah, we saw the story and now we are not surprised of the glory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, because they know that the moment that, that glory, that story ends, they know there's a new step. That is why when the brothers of Joseph, you know, when they saw Joseph, they were shocked. But when they realized the word he said to them, it became a confirmation to what he had told them before about his dream. And they were shocked, but when, they, when he told them, they, they automatically realized the dream he, he told them that made them to do what to sold him them they become what St how would i put it F -f -f devastated so you, you can say so god allows some people to be in your life not because he wants to punish you he, because he wants to let them know that he started it and he can still do it and it without them remember